Shalom. All right, before I begin this video, all the praise and our glory goes unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Akadadash, and my honors to the Apostle Elders of the Great Millstone, who rule well, who teach well, who tell me this truth, and honors to you brothers who are bringing out this word in sincerity and in faith, okay, risking your lives and your freedom uh, to do so. Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem, Rakakadash, Barak a thumb, to you sincere and you hopeful elect, man. Hey, so the spirit out here, once again, prophesying the downfall of this damn wretched ass place. Two thirds of my own people, all right, you damn devils and you other nation. Okay, once again, all right, and once again, the, the spirit is, is it was poured onto the uh, elder apostles to go back into the basics, man. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go right back into the basics, okay, and Lord's will, uh, this video is edifying, all right. So I'm gonna just start off in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3. And then just see where uh where, where the spirit goes from there, man. And Lord Lord's will. This is edifying. <clears throat> Alright, so it reads: this is the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1. It says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. So we in the time, we in the time of the last days. We in perilous times. Alright, and I guess that's that's the first thing that I'm gonna get the definition of, man. Let's get the definition for perilous. Because we in per we in perilous times, man. Alright, this is the definition for perilous. Uh it reads uh perilous. Danger, also a source of danger, risk. So right now everybody's living a, a high risk life. You don't want to find your you don't want to find yourself on the bad end of the heavenly father. Not at any time, but especially now, man, because the Lord's the Lord's judgments are <laughs> they they get bad, man. You see people freezing in their homes. You see people get stabbed up, shot up, all sorts of things. Okay? But anyways, we, uh, let me read it over again. This is the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. It says, this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. All right, so men are lovers of, them own, of their own selves. That's why they, they're taking selfies. Which ain't, ain't, ain't no wrong with taking a selfie by definition. But you see, you know, you're going over your likes. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're taking 50, 60 uh, selfies. All right, doing everything for likes. It says, covetous, boasters, and what is there to boast in? In this society, okay, everybody wants to be like me. Nigga, what? Anybody, anybody can sit on their ass, play 2K, smoke some weed. Anybody can do that. Anybody, anybody can wear some joints, okay? Hey, but who, who can bring out the words of the Heavenly Father's sincerity and the faith? That's what really bad. Okay, it says, proud blasphemers, Disobedient to parents, yeah. So you, man, you niggas are the worst. Two thirds of Israel, y'all are the worst. You're, you're disobedient. I and mean, we was, we was, we was brought up on respect, having respect for your elders. All that is going out the window, man. Okay. And it says, unthankful, unholy. So not only are you not thankful, you want to be around all these damn heathens. Don't nobody want to be around these heathens, man. Okay. That's part of being. Uh, that's part of being unholy, unseparate. You want to be part of this this one world. We all the same. When the Lord has showed a distinct difference between the twelve tribes of Israel that are on this side and, and uh, everybody else, man, there's a distinct difference. Okay, it says, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce despisers of those that are good. So let's start off at the top. Without natural affection, so that's hey man, hey. It's getting bad. It's getting bad. You got trannies out here. You got lesbians out here. You got moles out here. You got all sorts of stuff out here. You got uh, uh, people that change genders. They change their gender back. This is all sorts of fucking confusion out here, man. And it says, truth breakers, right, which basically goes in the Senate, and, and lying. You niggas lie. Oh, I'm gonna give you. T I'm gonna give you that twenty dollars back. You'll, you'll uh, 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 lose a friendship over, over $10, over $20, right? It says, um, 
false accusers. Yes, that's why you you are falsely accusing, all right, specifically the men of the Lord of all sorts of things. But all we're doing is just going into the scriptures. Okay, it says, um, uh, in, in incontinent, fierce despisers of those that are good. So you despise the one thirds of Israel and the 144,000. Which that that's that's your fault. Just because you don't like what we say, you don't like what we do, that don't matter. It's our, it's our job to continue to bring this word out. We don't give a fuck, okay? It says, traitors, yes, you, you especially you so-called black women, you damn traitors. How you gonna get with this damn, uh, how you gonna get with your enemy, man? Especially in these times. Here it is, I mean, I'm sitting here looking at a pile of native, so-called Native American bones, man. Right, in an in a, in a area that was built upon the deaths of these people in all, tw in all 12 tribes of Israel right? but, but more specifically in this area uh, Gad, so called Native Americans okay? you, you're not worried about that you rather go out and have a good time right, so you are fucking traitors that's why two thirds of Israel gotta go we don't give a shit about that man. turncoats, it says Hetty, yes you fool yourself and for what? All right, everybody, everybody want to look like me. Everybody want to dress like me, act like me. How, how is that? Wicked as hell, man. Okay, and it says, high-minded lovers of pleasures more than the lover than the lovers of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. So that's why you go to you fill in the churches, right? Passing around the plate. You say that you're a God-fearing people. You're not a God-fearing people, man. <laughs> You're not a God-fearing people. All right? It says, but denying the power of the... Yes, you, you deny the power of the Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father is putting people to death. The Heavenly Father is causing people to have stillbirths. Okay? He's causing women to be uh, uh, put to death. Okay? When, when they have a child, man. Die See, in the, ancient, in the ancient times, you didn't have women dying from childbirth. That was very rare. Okay? Now you, you've seen it. That's a whole statistic. Right, women dying during childbirth. That's, it's not supposed to happen that way. Right, specifically the, the uh, women of Israel. Okay, and it says, um, from such turn away. So yeah, we don't need to be around you damn high-minded, uh, holier than thou individuals. Okay, cause you you people in the church, you people in the modern day church are the worst. Man. Okay, we grew up around these people. That's how we know. We, we grew up around the modern day church. A lot, a lot of us uh, as children, we went to church. A lot of us as children, we didn't have no choice but to go to church, man. So we know all about the doctrine. We, we know everything there is to know about the modern day church, man. Okay? A lot of us was raised up all the way up until we, we were teenagers. Teenagers. There are certain brothers that were, uh, uh, you know, they came out of Christianity the moment they realized they were an Israelite, man. They, they just went to church on, on, a, on, a, on a Sunday. They found out they were Israelite on a Monday, man. And everything from then changed. They might have went back next Sunday to church and been like, man, fuck this. Fuck this. The Spirit just, the spirit just took, that, took that illusion off of them, man. All right? And we all had a picture of a, a white Jesus in the house. Now, a lot of us didn't have any choice because, you know, you were, you were a kid. You are a teenager. So that's not your house. I mean, certain certain brothers, you in a house right now that's not yours. You got a picture of white Jesus on the nightstand, man. And that's vexing. That is extremely vexing. To know that not only has this devil raped, robbed, and murdered everybody, now he wants you to worship him. All right? Anyways, it says, For of this sort are they which creep in the houses. That's, that's why you got these damn Jehovah's Witnesses knocking on your door. 7.30 in the morning, man. And that used to happen to me, man. It used to happen to me. It's, it's a Saturday, 7.30 in the morning. You got two so-called black women with big-ass hats on, knocking on, knocking on the door, talking about, do you know Jehovah? Pushing the doctrine of the so-called white man. All right? And it reads, and led captive silly women laden with sins. Woo! All right, so these are basically captives. Those are uh, uh, willing, willing slaves, willing servants. All right, you may a 
started off as a slave, then eventually, yo, now your ass wants to serve, man. Right, hey, same with this truth. You might have started off bucking up, you know what I mean? First week, all right, then, then you know, the cuts <laughs> started to become less significant to the point where you adhere to the word, man. Because not all of us, you know, had a, uh, you know, had a reverence for this word starting out. You know, now I can say myself, I wouldn't, I didn't really buck up to the truth when I first heard it. But you got certain individuals that did that, man. All right, and it reads. Woo! It says, and lead captive silly women laden with sins. Led away with divers' lust. All right, and lust don't even, lust in this sense doesn't really go into uh, like a, like a sexual desire. You can have a lust for life, okay? And it says, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. So that's why your, your ass go to Bible study every Wednesday, and you don't know shit. You don't know nothing about, you don't know nothing about the scripture. You're going over the same scriptures, John, John 3, 16, which that's already been debunked, all right? What, diff, different passages of Galatians? Okay, diff, different uh, passages in Romans. Oh, we're we're all we're all one people. That's not fucking true. All right, and we get tired of hearing that. But it is what it is. It says, now as Jans and Jan, and Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. So you have two thirds of our people resist the truth. That's that's not actually going to happen, man. See, the Lord set up the two thirds, going back into uh, the basics. The Lord set up two thirds of Israel uh, uh, to continue to come up against the one thirds in the 144,000. That's some that's biblical prophecy, okay? And it reads, so do these also resist the truth, men of corrupt minds, reprobate concerning the faith, okay? And the word reprobate meaning uh, void of judgment. Right, concerning the faith. So you're not worried about being judged. That's what that's why we bring out the word. Man. Okay, to bring uh the one-thirds towards repentance and to bring destruction towards the two-thirds, man. So I'm gonna uh even though I just said it, I'm gonna get the definition uh for reprobate. Alright, so this is the definition for reprobate. It reads a person foreordained. To damnation. Woo! So certain people were born to be to, to, to ultimately be put to death. That's it. Okay? Just like certain people were born uh, for salvation. But a lot more people were for, uh, born for damnation than for salvation. Alright? So let me go back. Let me type that in again. Uh, rep, reprobate. All right, so this is the definition for reprobate. And it reads, a person foreordain, foreordained to damnation, a thoroughly bad person, scoundrel, damn. So the Lord sees two thirds of Israel as scoundrels. Scoundrel, a scoundrel isn't, that isn't a good word, man. And that's that's all right. That's something that you, that's something that you learn to get over. And at one point we were, we were scoundrels. At one point, we were we were fucking vagabonds. We were the scum of the earth. All right. Now, Lord's will, we are those men. We are those men that were ordained, that are ordained, Salakia, for salvation. All right. And it reads, going back to the scriptures. It reads, uh, Salakia. It says. But they shall proceed no further. So yeah, this this is the end of the line for a lot of these people. What what is the church doing right now? The church ain't open. Ain't shit going on in the church. That's how you know the Lord ain't working with the church, right? It says, For their folly shall be manifest unto all men as theirs also was. So that's why they're, they're pushing this agenda. They're telling you, okay, everybody become docile. Don't worry about it. We're going to take care of you. The whole, the whole time, they get, they get prepared to kill your ass. Alright? And it reads, 
But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long suffering, charity, and patience. All right, so you have to fully know this doctrine. That's why you have to continue to study. You can't just say, okay, I know everything. All right, like you people in the church, you go to church for 20 years, all of a sudden you know everything. You, yeah, you can't break down nothing in the Bible, man. That's why for the most, man, for the most part, most of the people that are in the modern day church right now, okay, are going to be completely destroyed. Now, the Lord's going to have mercy on some of them, all right? Certain pastors, certain people in the congregation, okay? But the majority of them, done. They're toast, okay? And it reads, Persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch. Okay, so that was the first time that the men of the Lord were uh, called Christians. All right, the word Christian means anointed. So not, not everybody's a Christian. Okay? They're going to say they are, just like everybody say, okay, I'm a child of God. You know, hey, man. Even, even the children of God, who you call the children of God, two-thirds of them who really spiritually are, are not. Now, of course, in the kingdom, they're going to be saved. But right now here on the earth, man, they're, just, they're, they're uh, scoundrels, vagabonds, uh, spiritually homeless. All right? Now, here it is. We, we, we spiritually have a house. You want to tear our house down? It's not. It's not going to happen if the Lord don't want it to happen, man. That's why you're trying to. You're trying to call our jobs. You're trying to. Uh, uh, you're trying to get our our, our woman involved. You're trying to get our women involved. All right. You're trying to get the uh, children involved. You're trying. You know, ca calling up the job. Hey, have you have you seen have you seen your employee? You're showing them uh, videos and shit. Which that's gonna come back on you. Hey, and that happens within your own household too, man. And pretty soon, when it's time to uh, uh, turn the men of the Lord in, because they've been talking about that, man. They've been talking about creating legislation uh, uh, to deem us uh, domestic terrorists. But you, you damn devils, you are the real domestic terrorists, man. You're the damn scum of the earth. Here it is, you, you done raped, robbed, and murdered every damn body, and now you want to break. It's not happening. You're gonna get, you're gonna get this pending litigation. You're gonna get told the charges, and then you're gonna be charged, man. That's what this is all about. Okay, it says here. All right, I gotta go back. This is just this is just the spirit. This is the book of Second Timothy, chapter two, and verse uh, sixteen. But shun profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more ungodliness. And their word will eat as doth a canker, of whom is Hymenius and Philetus, who concerning the truth have erred, saying that the resurrection is past already, and overthrow the faith of some. Yes, yeah, so you got certain people, right? They used to teach the truth. Now they teaching against the truth, man. Right? They got they got uh their feelings hurt, whatever the case is. Either that they got paid off. You got people getting paid to not speak this word no more. Here's here is Five hundred thousand dollars. Do not go out no more. We, what the fuck we gonna do with with five hundred thousand dollars? With a million dollars? Our job is to bring this word out, man. Okay. So you go. You gonna have people. Hey, I need. I need you to stop. All right. Our elders have had that happen. Brothers have had that happen. Hey, and that happens in various in, in very small microcosms, man. Okay. Your woman may say, okay, if you if you continue to bring the word out, I believe. Oh well. See, there are no ultimatums in this truth, man. Ultimately, you bring this word out, you do what you're supposed to do, or your ass dies. That's it. See, because the Lord don't need me. He don't need none of the men. It says in the scriptures that he can make the stones to prophesy, man. Okay, he can make the trees to prophesy if he wanted to. But he chose men. He ordained men for all, you know, from their birth and before that, okay, when there were these former men, which Lord's will, we, we are those uh, men. Okay, and it says, nevertheless, the foundation of Yahweh standeth sure. Yeah, so there's nothing that you can do to stop the elect. It's not going to happen. All right? Even if I'm not of the elect, the elect is somewhere. You can spark the mind of the elect. You can not be the elect. You can spark the mind of the elect. Man. All right? There's a brother that I was very elder, you know, that I was very fond of. He fell out. But a lot of the things that he said uh, inspired me, and a lot of the uh, uh, a lot of the doctrine, right, that he did teach that was right and formal. You know, uh, uh, I adhere to that. Like there are certain brothers where you, you hear uh, where the uh, what the chariots are, okay, 
you hear, you hear uh, 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 not to eat the shrimp, the pork, the crab. Came from these same brothers, and then a year later, you know, they're speaking, they're speaking up against this word, man. So you got certain men that have taught you very great things, man. Now they, now they, they make counter videos, they scoffing. That's the Lord doing that, and to see the Lord take the spirit away from a man is a very scary thing to see. The first time I seen that, I was, man, I was, I was, I was terrified, man. Because you go from, you go from giving your, your honors to the men who have uh, uh, bestowed this word unto you, and now you speak against them. All right? And it reads, Never the slacking. It says, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. Yeah, so we may not know who the elect is, but the Lord does. The Lord has a very special seal upon the hopeful elect turned elect. It says, and let every one that nameth the name of Hamashiach depart from iniquity. But in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. So you have the, you have the two thirds, you have the one thirds. All right, and also when it comes to the kingdom of heaven, you gonna have servants, man. So you go, it's going it's to be heathens walking around. It is, it is what it is. You're not gonna have a, you're not gonna have a kingdom without people serving you, just like here in America. All right, you, you had the slave masters; they were chilling on the plantation. It's not like they were somewhere else and they would come and visit once a year or something. No, man, they were, they were constantly there. And you had certain slave masters that had multiple, um, they had multiple slave uh, uh, operations. So they would go from New Orleans to Mobile. Uh, they would go from uh, Mobile uh, uh, to Pensacola. You know, they would go from Pensacola to Houston. All right, sometimes travel up uh, more uh, northward. Okay, you know, uh, towards the top of Louisiana. You know, wherever they were doing business. You know, New York. Same as now, man. That's why they travel. They go to these different places. <clears throat> and it says here. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. So this this is a preparation. This takes this takes years and years and years and years and years to solidify. And even when it is solidified, you gotta keep solidifying it. Alright? Our elders have been preaching this word for decades and decades. They're still preaching it. All, all the way up until the Lord comes back. Hey, it's till death do us part, man. That's what we've been taught. We are the brides of Yahweh Shah and Masha. So, so it's, it's, you know, it's a handful of things that can happen. You either get put to death, you get taken by cherry, or you fall out. You know, that's really it. Okay? And it reads, flee also youthful lust. So, you know, you know, you know, dealing with, you know, dealing with every woman you come across. You know, smoking, smoking weed. You know, you being out all sorts of night, just bullshit. That's part of them. That's part of them youthful lust, man. All right, that's that's the way you want to go. All right, hey man. I see on this. Uh, I see on this highway all the time. I see lots of motorcycles, man. Now you know if a brother's you know has a motorcycle, that's that's not going off. Right, you you in a uh, uh, you in a biker group, okay? Uh, a biker gang. That's part of them youthful lust, man. All right, with certain things happen with certain brothers, man. They try to get on to the elder apostle or cop uh, for being a uh, part of a biker group. Hey, man. Hey, man. Even the, even the, even the greatest of men, right, have faults. That's why there is there is nothing higher than the heavenly Father and His Son. Everybody everybody else sins. All right, speaking about the 12 tribes of Israel. So that's a stumbling block for certain people. Oh, see, that's not a man of the Lord. We understand that that is a man of the Lord. You're not a man of the Lord unless at one point you was going off and you learning from it. All right, like we're supposed to be uh, men in three-piece suits or something like that. That's not the case. We co we coming in rough garments. We coming looking tired. We coming from work, All right? Got sweat on your forehead and shit. Teeth crooked. Big foreheads, all that. All right, it says. 
It says, flee also youthful lust, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. So the Lord wants somebody with a pure heart. You don't want somebody with some uh, wicked, ill intentions, man. You trying to get uh, followers on social media. You trying to s sell products. The Lord ain't dealing with that. The Lord, the Lord will put your ass to death for that, man. Point blank. Okay, it says, but foolish and unlearned questions avoid knowing that they do gender strifes. So yeah, uh, um, all sorts of shit. Is the earth flat? All that other dumb shit. That's gender and strifes, man. Okay, we were supposed to bring the hopeful elect together. That's our job. We're not supposed to be sitting here um, coming up with all these random questions. Now, there's nothing wrong with questioning, but you're supposed to go to the scriptures. Don't just come up with random questions and then you don't have the answer for it. All right? And it says, And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, and patient. So don't be out here, you know, you're trying to fight every damn body. All right, got that carnal spirit. Okay, we, we are supposed to be apt to teach. You're supposed to be ready to teach. That's why we're bringing this word out, not only on the highways and the byways, but this word is going out all across the four corners of the earth. You may have 10 views. One, one view is in China. One view is in Japan. Five of them are in America. And that's the power of the internet. All right? Hey, and, and a lot of y'all, you have demons on you. Right? You think it's ridiculous? You think it's ridiculous for us to be here, you know, bringing out the word? It would it would be like a, a a woman doing a makeup tutorial. She's sitting in the room by herself doing a makeup tutorial. Okay, that's okay. When when the men of the Lord are bringing out the word, all of a sudden it ain't making no sense. Right? You got fucking demons on. Right? It says it says apt to teach, patient. Right? In meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves. So you're not opposing us. You're opposing your damn self. By not, by not adhering to this word, you hurting yourself. You're not hurting us. We don't. We already bringing out the word. So it ain't nothing you can really do or say. Ult ultimately, just take heed. This isn't our word. This is the Lord's word, man. All right? And it says, If y'all about Shemiah Shai, peradventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth. So part of uh, part of repenting is acknowledging the truth, all right? Acknowledging that uh, uh, the twelve tribes of Israel are you so-called Latinos, Negroes, uh, Native Americans, and those of you who uh, look like those people, but your line actually goes back to Israel, okay? And it says, <clears throat> and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, who are taken captive by him and his will, which the devil is the so-called white man, point blank, period. All right, and you're going to have certain people say, yeah, the, the white man isn't the devil. The so-called white man, the, who you know as the so-called white man, that's the damn devil now, who is taking you captive at his will. He done took your, he done took your ass from all, all over the place, set, <laughs> set you up in here, and now he's got you in a whole damn system. And you, you, and you can't see it, all right? And it says, it says, um, captive by him at his will. So it ain't at your will. Let your ass get in the car and you don't have your uh, driver's license. <laughs> you know what I mean? Your ass gonna get dealt with. Let you try to start a business without having a business license. But he's a, they started all these businesses. They didn't have a business license when they came over here and killed every damn body. That was something that they just did. But that, but that's okay because it's the so-called white man. All right, and everybody, everybody kissing the so-called white man's ass, you gonna get put to death. It is what it is. You gonna try to adhere to the rules, okay? Maybe we should just stay inside and, and take the jab. Next thing, next thing you know, your ass is convulsing on the floor. That, that's part of that's part of the curses. You have you having that uh, uh, that that Stockholm syndrome, man. All right, and it reads, and they that may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil. Yeah, man. So, hey, so we recovered, okay? It says we're taken captive by him and his will. So I'm going to go back to the original point that I was supposed to read um, in uh, chapter 3. So I'm going to start again on chapter 3. This is the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1. It says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Which we in the last days, we in the last seconds. Alright? We're about to have nuclear warfare out here. We're about to have people getting put to death out here, man. World War 3, all that. Okay, it says, 
For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, which that's all um, that's all attributes of the so-called white man, which you've taken on, man. Okay? You've taken that on. Hey, you love being like that. All right, that's why uh, when you, here it is, you're trying to label us a domestic terrorist, and you're speaking on people getting put to death, and all you hear on the radio is people getting put to death. So what's that about, man? All right? That's because they're allowed to say that. And see, that's the thing. The so-called white man determines who can say what. I thought we had a First Amendment right. I thought I had a right to say what I want to say. So you try, you trying to label us as uh, domestic terrorists? You try, you the damn domestic terrorists. You don't want coming up with legislation to, to get rid of somebody for speaking words. You don't see any of the men of the Great Millstone on the on, on the news for doing something, right? As much as you would love that, right? And they say, see, and that's why, brothers, man, you gotta you gotta think with you gotta think very heavily, man. All right, but think with your think with your spirit, okay? But you have to have attached to how about Shemel Shai. You can't just think with your own mind. You know? You can't you can't just think with your own mind. Because you'll you'll handle things carnally now. Okay? And it says, Let me go down to six. It says, For of this sort are they Slakia. For of this sort are they which creep in the houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with divers lust, which that that also goes in us, man. The children of Israel. All right, let me go down to um, 11. Persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch and Iconium and Lystra. What persecutions I endured, but out of them all the Lord delivered me. So that's why we go through certain things, yet the Lord is going to continue to deliver us, man. All right, you, you may, you may uh, uh, lose your house. You know, you may lose your job certain things happen right and the lord is going to allow the lord is going to allow you to keep moving forward man <clears throat> he may help your whole household just to help you because many brothers their, their family that don't uh recognize this truth right they may say shallow you know they they may say yeah we support what you do but when it comes down to it they, they don't man if they supported it they would fa they would fall in line with the heavenly father this ain't something that we came up with Right? Saying not to eat shrimp, crab, pork, not to smoke, not to be a damn adulterer, you know? Follow the high holy days, man, you know? And it's not the easiest thing in the world, but as you continue to do certain things, it gets easier and easier. I wasn't really accustomed to eating uh, pork like that. I never really liked pork myself, you know? But I used to eat uh, uh, shrimp, you know, every once in a while, crab, these certain things. Especially when you live in the South. So when you come into the understanding, okay, I'm not supposed to eat these things. Days go by in which it gets easier and easier. Anything that you get rid of, it gets easier and easier as time goes by. <clears throat> All right, and it reads, it says, Yeah, and all they that live godly in Hamashat and Haushai shall suffer persecution. So you're, you're going to suffer persecution. That's going to happen. That's guaranteed. It's guaranteed for you to go through something. You're going to have all sorts, and especially when, you, when, you, when you're coming into this truth, and you, you're getting solidified in this truth. You I mean, you got all sorts of, you got all sorts of dreams. You got dreams that you're going off. You know what I mean? All sorts of shit. You, 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 you got dreams that, you, that you're getting put to death. Man, all, all sorts of things, man. <laughs> you know? And you got to continue to move forward in these things, man. Hey, to go through temptation, all right, it's not a sin, but to fall into the temptations, that's when you begin to sin, man. See, y'all, going back to the basics, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, is tempted. Now, I don't know exactly what the passage is in the scriptures, but um, the Heavenly Father's Son was presented the whole world uh, uh, from Satan. Satan said, I'll give you all these kingdoms. I'll do all these things for you if you just kneel before me, all right? If you just, if you just jump, if you just jump off this cliff. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll give you all these things, man. All right? What did Yahweh Shai say, man? That thou shalt not tempt the Lord. Roughly paraphrasing. So don't tempt the Heavenly Father, man. Just do do what, do 
what you're uh, uh, told to do to the best of your ability, man. And uh, uh, great things will happen for you. Okay, and it reads... Verse 13, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Woo, let me read that again. But evil men, evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. So, hey, man, the wicked are waxing worse and worse. That's why, that's why we're not worried about it. All we got to do is keep bringing out the word, keep following the law, statutes, and commandments, and the Lord is going to take care of us. That's why these people in the modern day church, they're done. They're, they're, they're done. They're toast. Okay? And that's that's our job. That's our job is to speak on these things, man. So, it, hey, if people aren't speaking up against you, you're not doing the right job. You're not supposed to be, okay, uh, everybody's involved. All for one. We're speaking against our own people, too. Two-thirds. All right? Which is a majority. That's billions and billions and billions of people. All right? Okay, and it reads... But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, which is through faith, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Hey Amen. So we learn, we learn from the men of the Lord today. Alright, which are which are the apostle elders of the great millstone. Okay? The elder apostles and the elders of the great millstone. That's who we learn from, man. We didn't learn from these other guys. Now you got certain men that are in this troop now. All right, that are that are a, a part of Great Millstone that came from these other camps, man. Nothing wrong with that. But it's upon the rec but it's uh, upon the recognition that the that the elder apostles of the Great Millstone are the men of the Lord today, and that they've been they've been set up to be these things, man. T teachers, uh, priests, all right, kings upon the earth. All right, and it reads. This is the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 15. It says, And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Hamashiach Yehoshai. Hey, so even as children, man, we learn the scripture. Thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not murder, Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's uh, 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 things, goods, whatever the case is. All right, which which uh, your woman is is property. Man. So that also goes into co coveting your neighbor's things, man. Don't covet the next man's wife. Okay. All right, it says all scripture is given by inspiration of Yahweh Shai, and is profitable for doctrine. For reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. So the, uh, these words were uh, uh, were made for our sakes, the hopeful elect of Israel, man, as a guidebook and a guide reference to speak. See, because if we were just out here speaking, so I could, there's there is nothing to attach that to. Yet with the scriptures, right, teaching it in the proper doctrine, the men that have been taught uh, the proper doctrine, okay. That is that is that safe haven. That is that uh, uh, that is that strong tower, which is this which is this word, all right. And this word, right, is through Yahweh. Yahweh is through Yahweh. Okay, it's like an extinction cord, all right. You got the power source, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, right, Yahweh. Then you got the extinction cord, which would be Yahweh Shai. Okay, and then you have the appliance, which would be us, all right. And an uh, 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 oven with no power source is useless. Car with no gas is useless, man. All right, and your car, your car don't run off of just gas forever. It has to be replenished. That's why you have to continue to study. You can't just okay one day okay I'm good. Like these damn people. Oh, I got I got saved ten years ago. And look, see the Lord ain't dealing with that, man. Okay, and it says that the man of Yahweh Shemiah Shai may be perfect, thoroughly furnished into all good works. All right, so being, being perfect, that means mean that you're perfect. The Lord sees you as perfect, man. Of course the people ain't gonna see you as perfect. They didn't see the, they didn't see the other men as perfect. 
They're not going to see us as perfect. It makes perfect sense, okay? And it says, all right, so I'm going to go into, I'm going to read chapter 4. Well, actually, that's the end of 2 Timothy. So I'm going to read the end of 2 Timothy, and then uh, I'm going to go back into Deuteronomy. I, I was going into Deuteronomy, man. All right, all, uh, man, all I'm seeing every day, man. It's a bunch of through, through ass devils carrying all their goods, man. Hey, and which, hey, the water you about Shimei and Shai, may the Lord continue to, to pass you damn devils down, man. We we can't do anything. So, so we delight in seeing y'all's downfall. Okay, it says, uh, this is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 4, and verse 1. It says, I charge thee, therefore, before you have Shai, and Shai, and Ha'adu Wanawa, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, who shall judge the quick. And the dead at the appearing and his kingdom. All right, so the quick, those who are alive, right, and the dead. So he, he's going, he's going to judge the one thirds, and he's going to judge the two thirds. Okay, and he's going to judge the other nations, and the damn devil. All right, which are you so-called white people? I cannot, I cannot express that enough. So-called white man is the devil. All right, it says, it says, preach the word, be instant in season. Out of season, so it don't matter if it's cold, it don't matter if it's fucking raining. All right, you need to be out here bringing the word out. Now that don't mean you need to be standing in the rain. All right, just have a just have an alternate uh, place to go, man. Okay, that's it. If it's cold, just throw you know, throw them gloves on. You know, get some hot hands. Do, do your thing. And they don't even get that cold down here in Florida, man. It might be like you know, 40 degrees, 30 degrees. You know, low 30s, but it don't get no lower than that. It's not in the negative temperatures, like certain places uh, 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 up north. You got certain elders in Buffalo. You got certain elders in New York, Boston, Chicago. You know, where it's five degrees outside. Okay, and you see them out there. They got the cup in one hand with the soup. You know, with the co with the coffee in it, with the herbs, some ginger water, whatever the case is. All right, got the gloves on. They doing their thing. Okay. Just like out here when it gets hot, you know, get yourself a, you know, a little sh uh, shirts, short sleeve shirts. All right, we've been commanded not to be out here teaching with no shorts on. You know, get yourself some, some, some breathable pants, do what you need to do, all right? And it reads, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. Hey, an instant is always ready. Like you got, uh, you got ready grits, ready rice, all right? It says... Reprove, re, slack your, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Okay? It says, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. We in that time. Ain't nobody enduring sound doctrine. It says, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers, having itching ears. So whatever you subscribe to, that's what you like. If you want to hear that everybody's going to make it, that's the teachers that you go to. You know? You want to hear that the only only uh, uh, the Israelites are black. That's the teachers that you're gonna to subscribe to. And the people that subscribe to the truth are truthful. Okay. Okay. It reads here, um, and they shall slack and they shall turn away their ears from the truth. They <laughs> shall be turned unto fables, <laughs> like a uh, uh, what do you call that? Flat Earth, all that bullshit. Ev uh, evolution. That's a fable. Evolution is a fable. See, we don't come from no damn monkeys, man. They want you. They want you to believe that you come from monkeys. They want you to believe that we came from fish. That's, that that is ridiculous, All right? And that's part of the wiles of the damn devil. You see, it was a man that told you that. Was it not a man? Was it not a man that continued to teach you these things? You went to school learning about evolution, okay? All right, hey, and who who pushes? Who pushes those books? The so-called white men. Right? And it says, But watch thou in all things. So continue to watch. All right? Endure afflictions. So you're supposed to endure afflictions. There are certain things that happen to you, man. You got to take these things cheerfully, man. If you lose, hey, if you lose a job because of this truth, it is what it is, man. I, in a roundabout way, lost, my, lost a job because of the truth. All right, this was a little bit. This was a little while ago, you know, <clears throat> which basically the the, the, the job uh, encompassed around serving devils all damn day. 
All right, so you came into this tree. You're like, man, I'm not trying to do this no more. So eventually, here it starts to tank to the point where you're not even doing your job no more. Man. <laughs> hey, and that's what happened. They recognize that, you know, it lets you go. Here's what it is. Got another job, man. The Lord, the Lord is always going to provide for his people. Point, point. He's, he's, he's going to do that for us, man. You just have to have the faith. Okay, and it reads... It says, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. So that's why you continue to see us out here, right? Whether I'm right here, over here, there, wherever the case is, man. Bringing this word out, you make it full proof of the ministry, all right? So let's get the definition for proof. All right, so this, this is the definition for proof. It reads, uh, proof. It says the evidence that compels acceptance by the mind of a truth or fact. A process or operation that establishes validity or truth. All right? A test. A trial impression. All right? It says a trial print from a, uh, from a front end, which that's not it. All right? But you get the point. You get the point. All right, let me, let me read that at the top. Let me read it from the top again. All right, this is the definition for proof. It says a process or operation that establishes validity or truth. So right now you're living in a psychological operation. They got you all fucked up. You, 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 you're thinking that, uh, you thinking that the earth is flat? You're thinking that we're coming from monkeys? You're thinking that the, that the ice age occurred? You're thinking all these different things outside of the truth. All right, which the, the truth is that the whole earth was flooded. That's why you got seashells no matter where you go. And right? you dig into the ground enough, you're gonna find seashells all the way at the top at the top of every damn mountain, you're gonna find some sedimentary rock. That's because the whole earth at one point was completely underwater, man. All right? And it reads, yet they want to tell you that everything was frozen. That's bullshit. From what? All right? The the polar, the the, the Polar vortex came and, and, and covered everything in ice. That's bullshit. Okay, and it reads. It says, for I am now ready to be offered when the time of my departure is at hand. All right, so our Lord was ready to be offered up. Just like us. We ready. We ready to get the fuck up out of here. Hey, we ready for the kingdom. We're not, we're not trying to be up in here around these damn people. These people are gross, weird. Hey, right? yeah, the two-thirds of Israel are gross, weird, man. Okay, it says, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. So that's what it means to be the elect, to, to stick to this all the way up until the end, man. All right? Oh, Satan, man. It says, henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto all them that also love his appearing. How do you love his appearing? Is if you are of the elect of the 12 tribes of Israel. All right, that's why uh, the apostle John saw himself being crowned, man. Okay, he had a vision of himself along uh, alongside the 144,000 being crowned by the Lord himself, man. Okay, it says, do thy diligence to come shortly unto me. All right, so be diligent, knowing that we're that very soon, right? The kingdom of heaven is at hand, and that we'll we'll be up under uh, the grace, all right, uh, in the vision of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Right? Okay, and it says, for Damas hath forsaken me, having loved this present world, and is departed unto Thessalonica. So you have certain men that depart. All right, they woman leave them. I don't want to serve. I don't want to serve the Lord no more. Right? She take the kids. Right? You may lose a good job. You might have been a doctor. All right? You, you get barred from your association. You know, it's you return back into the world. Hey, that, that's gonna happen, man. And we pray that we don't go back into the world, man. Ain't nothing in the world. Ain't nothing but death and destruction out here. Okay, it says. It says, uh, Christians to Galatia. Titus unto Dalmatia. 
Only Luke is with me. Take Mark and bring him with thee, for he is profitable to me for the ministry. All right, so these, these are some of the All right, these were part of those uh, uh, apostles that you read about the book of Luke, the book of Mark. These were great men, okay? And these men are here on the earth today. Now, they don't know who they are, but they're here on the earth today. It says, Tychius have I sent to Ephesians, right? Which is how you got the church of Ephesians. Those, uh, that was a group of men. All right, uh, and like the elders were speaking about, each church had something that they, that they were going off on. Right? I can't remember which uh, church it was, but one of the churches had women teaching them. So they were getting cussed out for that. Like you got certain men, you got certain um, groups, right? Like uh, uh, IUIC. Right, that let women teach. What? Where is that at? It's not in the scriptures. You got if you got women teaching at church, they're going to be teaching all sorts of madness, and it's going to be attached to emotion because women are very emotional. That's why they got to stay. Have to stay the hell up out the way. Now, there's nothing wrong with a woman learning, right? Watching the videos, studying, getting into the scriptures, but it's not. It's not up to a woman to, uh, uh, to teach a to teach a man. Now you know a woman can teach. Um, she can teach other women, you know, the proper doctrine. She can teach the children under the direction of her man, you know. All right, if you live with your husband and he's saying, okay, you're going off about that, don't teach that to the children. All right, you got to acknowledge that. If not, your ass going to get dealt with. Hey, it's just like us. We teach something that's not according to his doctrine. We're, 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 we're going to get dealt with. That, that may be that day. Next week, next year, but you go, you go get right now. You go get tuned up. It says the cloak that I left at Troas with Carpus, when thou comest, bring with thee, and the books, but especially the parchments, which is what the scriptures were written on. Uh, uh, parchment paper, scrolls. All right, so they had books for reference, you know, different uh, historical books. Like you know, sometimes the elders go into uh, certain books that they may have. Right, but most importantly, the scriptures, okay? You know, and, and the apostle elders go into the fact that they used to have a whole backpack full of different books and things, right? But now it's been, uh, you know, just simply the scriptures, man. And even, you know, and now, you know, with, you got your phone. So if you need to, you know, go into a, a quick reference, go into your phone real quick, and you get back, you know, you get back to the scriptures. It says... Verse 14, Alexander the coppersmith did me much evil. And Alexander the coppersmith goes into uh, Alexander the Great, Alexander the Creek, son of uh, uh, Philip of Macedonia. Okay, the, the first king of, uh, of Greece, which, which, which that damn devil was into all sorts of stuff, man. All right, and pushed that wickedness. And pushed that wickedness under our people. Uh, working out naked, wrestling naked, okay? Eating all sorts of abominable foods, eating shellfish and conches and, and gator meat and shit. And that's not that's just the light things, man. Right? The, hey, the homosexuality that came from the so, that came from the so-called white man. Okay, from all these different uh, captivities <laughs> to the point to now. All right, Jake Jake is popping on other Jake. Jake is popping on Esau. Esau popping on Jake. The other nations popping on Jake. I right, know it's never supposed to be the case. All right, verse 14. It says, Alexander the coppersmith did me much evil. The Lord reward him according to his works. So that's why his ass died of uh, syphilis. Which they say, we, we, don't, we don't know how he died. We know how he died. He died from syphilis. All right? Which that's a disease that, that's a disease that eats your brain away, man. All right, let me see if I can get the definition for syphilis. If I can spell it right all right, so this is, this is the definition. It's locked in. This is the definition for syphilis. Uh, it reads, uh, an infectious venereal disease caused by a spirochette. Etymology, Latin, from syphilis, hero of the poem, syphilis, sive, morbus, Gallicus, syphilis, or the French disease. 
1530, all right, which that was a disease that came from you damn devils, man, all right? It also came from Gerolamo Francastoro, 1553, Italian physician. So back, back then, man, they had STDs. How did STDs occur, man? Uh, unnatural affections, all right? So then they replicate those unnatural affections and they they uh they make synthetic variants such as uh, AIDS. That's a synthetic variant. That shit didn't come out come out of nowhere. They said it came from somebody having sex with a monkey. That's not true. They created that. All right, just like you have uh, uh, GMOs. That's that's a genetically modified organism. AIDS is a genetically modified organism. This damn uh, uh, what they got out right now. This Crown Royal. That's a that's a genetically modified organism. That, if you got 30, 40 different strains, that's not something that uh, occurs naturally, okay? That that has um, uh, uh, HIV mimickers, okay? This is something that this is something that's created, man, all right? And they know that. We know that, okay? It says, right, it says Alexander the Coppersmith. And see, we, when it goes into a Coppersmith, man, a Coppersmith really is uh, uh, like a... Uh, seller of war. See, you can sell war through an ideology, right? Conquering conquering other places, right? You, you, you are uh, being a warmonger. You're selling war. You're selling the idea of war also, right? Like the so-called white man now, is a, he's a coppersmith. This nigga creating weapons out of nowhere. He creating lasers, right? Basically trying to copy the heavenly father, right? It says, of whom be thou aware also. So be aware of the so-called white man. You better keep your eyes on him. Don't, you, don't take your eyes off him. It says, for he hath greatly withstood our words. Yeah, so this man has stood the test of time. Here it is. He put a whole group, he put a whole nation of people into slavery. And really nobody would nobody really went to jail for that. Name one person who went to jail for putting the 12 tribes of Israel into slavery. Not one. Right? Not one. Now, they may have died during the Civil War, but then there is no jail, right? Housing people, right, that put people into slavery. That, that did not happen, right? That's part of the Emancipation Proclamation. We are going to legitimize slavery. We're going to turn it into a corporation, corporations. We're going to create sharecroppers, and we're just going to own the land. Which, if you think about it, that's a pretty smart move, man. Okay? That's why it says in the scriptures that uh, he is wiser than Daniel, because a lot of the things that he does, you would you would perceive him as the Lord being with him, right? Okay, it says, "On my first answer, no man stood with me, but all men forsook me." All right, so that's gonna happen. That's, hey, most people they're going they're going to forsake me. Hey, kiss kiss they ass goodbye. They out of here, man. All right, by hey by turning by turning they back on you, you put your proper doctrine. You know, you doing the things that the Heavenly Father would want you to do. That means they turning they, they back on the Heavenly Father's Son and ultimately on the Heavenly Father, man. Would you turn your back on the Heavenly Father, it, it's going to be a bad day for you, man. Okay? You can turn your back on us all you want to. But if the Lord has his hand upon us, then, then you really fucking up. All right? It says, I pray, Yahweh, by Hashem that it that it may not be laid to their charge. Yeah, so some of y'all just don't know two thirds, man. You just being a scoffer. You don't even you don't even know why you're a scoffer. You just born to be a scoffer, born to be the two thirds. Then you have people who knowingly know this truth and they want to come up against us like a fucking idiot. And you and you looking real bad, man. All all the people that were talking shit like a year ago, two years ago, where they at? They done. Okay, it says, notwithstanding, the Lord stood with me. And strengthen me. So while the people uh, up in here got weaker and weaker, the men of the Lord got stronger and stronger, man. That's how it's supposed to work. All the way up until the end. You're going to have people starving out here. That, hey, man, the men of the Lord going to be okay. You know? Like the elder, <laughs> like the elder Kanak. The elder Kanak based out of uh, San Francisco. He said, you know, Jake, Jake going to have a little belly on him. You know, Jake going to have some women with him. Jake going to be drinking wine. Jake going to be sharing wine, man. Eating lamb. Hey, that happened even now, man. 
You know, you got people on unemployment. You got people digging out of trash cans. The men of the Lord are okay. That's it. That's all, man. All right, that's why we need to continue to serve him so he's going to continue to do certain things for us. Okay? You may have people scrambling around looking for a place. You know? The Lord, the Lord give you a place, man. He, you know? You get that call back. You get that text. You know? Your, your application it goes on the top of the stack. All right? That's how the Lord gets down, man. Okay? It says, Notwithstanding, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me that by me the preaching might be fully known. So yeah, it's through the preaching of this word that Yahweh Shemir Hashai is fully known. It says, and that all the Gentiles might hear. So that goes into the uh, that goes into the children of Israel, right? Who are in the Gentile state of mind. Right? And it goes into also uh, the Gentiles of the other nations because they're going to hear this word. And I don't mean that it's for them. They're going to hear this word, man. Right? It says, I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion. It says, and the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work, right, which goes into the chip, that goes into martial law, all that, man. Lord going to remove his men up out of the way, the men, women, and children of Israel, okay? The one-thirds, all right, and then those 144,000 men. Okay, which a good majority of those 144,000 are already passed away. You know, some of them are in the spirit world. Some, uh, some of them are here, all right, living their lives out as men again. Okay, and it says, Salute Prisca and Aquila. Salakia. This is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter uh, 4. Chapter 4. And verse uh, 18. It says, And the Lord shall deliver me from every work and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom. So to make it until the, until the kingdom comes, man. Hey, blessed is he who liveth to see, to see the downfall of his enemy, man. We living to see that. That's something beautiful. We get to see, we get to see you devils get crash landed, man. It's beautiful. Hey, right, here it is. You thought you was gonna have space hotels. You thought you was gonna go to the moon. You thought you was gonna go to Mars. Which that that's a bunch of bullshit, man. See, really? Is he the so-called white man? Is he's smart, man? You gotta give him that. You paying all this money for him to go to Mars? Right? They creating all they creating all this money. They, they can't go to Mars. That shit is impossible. That's why you got the the, uh, the Van Allen radiation belt. They didn't go to Mars. They didn't go to the moon. That's all bullshit. You you paying for people to go? It's, you paying for a rocket to go up into the sky? You know, that's it. It's not going. It's not going nowhere. Really past the stratosphere. Man. See the why don't they have the International Space Station? You know. On the, on, on the other side of the damn universe right now. That's that's as far as they can go. They can go into the stratosphere. That's it. So all that Mars landing, that was a bunch of that was a bunch of damn CGI. That was in the middle of that was in the middle of nowhere. That was in some Arizona desert, right? But anywho, it says, To whom be the glory forever and ever, Amen. Salute to Prisca and Aquila in the house in the household of Onsiphorus. Alright, which these are these are elect men. It says, Erastus abode at Corinth, right? So you got the Church of Corinthians, which was a group, uh, which was a group of men. Okay, it says, um, but Tr uh, Trophimus have I left at Militum sick. So through. Do thy diligence to come before winter. And, and winter ultimately is uh, uh, when all, all hell breaks loose. All right. All right, because there was a little uh, small clue in the beginning of this. Be instant, in season, out of season. So that don't mean the winter as in when it's cold. A winter represents death. Okay? And it says, uh, it says, Eubulus greeteth thee, and Pudens, and Linus, and Claudia, and all the brethren. The Lord Yahushua HaMashiach be with thy spirit. Grace be with you all, amen. So these, these were letters that were written to men. Now we're reading these letters now, today. We're interpreting the words that they were writing down thousands of years ago, okay? That's a very important job. It's not our job to write down the words, man. It's our job to interpret the words, okay? This is a work. This is something that you got to do. It's something that you got to constantly go into. You, you, there's, not, there's not enough time in the day to go through all these scriptures, man. 
That's why you get. That's why it says that. Let me read that again. It's the book of Second Timothy, chapter four, and verse twenty-one. Do thy diligence to come before winter. So yeah, do all, all the work you can before winter comes, before the troops come. NATO, EU, shit, UN troops, BRICS troops. All right, especially now, the spirit is on us to go into overdrive, man. All right? Okay, so let's go back uh, into the book of Deuteronomy. I believe yesterday I was in... Um, I believe I was in 28, chapter 28, if I remember correctly. So I'm going to just go to 2, right? So, you know, and Deuteronomy is part of, like, the basics. That's, like, the, some of the first scriptures uh, that we heard, man. It's, you know, like, uh, Deuteronomy, uh, what else, Galatians. Uh, Lamentations, Genesis, certain parts of Revelation, right? Like, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity, you know? And that's why, you know, uh, our elders go, go into uh, the basics a lot. Because you got certain brothers who, this is their first time hearing the truth. So, you know, you got to go back for them. <laughs> it's beautiful. All right, uh, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 2 and verse 1. It says, Then we turned and took our journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea, as the Lord spake unto me, and we compassed Mount Seir many days. And the Lord spake unto me, saying, Ye have compassed this mountain long enough, turn you northward, and command thou the people, saying, Ye are to pass through the coast of your brethren, the children of Esau, which dwell in Seir, and they shall be afraid of you. Take ye good heed unto yourselves, therefore. Meddle not with them. So even back then, we weren't supposed to deal with their ass, man. It says, For I will not give you of their land, no, not so much as a foot breath, because I have given Mount Seir unto Esau for a possession. Ye shall buy meat of them for money, that ye may eat, and ye shall also buy water of them for money, that ye may drink. So back then, we weren't paying for water. Now you, now your ass paying for water. You're supposed to be getting water for free. You're supposed to be getting food for free, man. Ultimately, you're supposed to be growing your own food. So the fact that that's why it says in the scriptures that we shall go, <laughs> that we shall go to him for the want of all things. All right? If your ass want anything, if you want to get, if you want to get legally married, right? Which that's going, that's going off, man. That's going off. Now, if you get legally married, well, you got to go to the so-called white man. If you want food. If you, if you want your child to be born, who you, who you got to go to? You got to go. You got to register your child. That shit wasn't happening back then. All right. And it said, it, see, you damn devils, you are the real undocumented immigrants, man. You had no documentation coming up in here. All right. Now, even during the times of dad, man, when a child is born, you know, they may, um, they may write, they may write down his name on a tablet or something like that, you know. Something simple. No, you you want his you want his weight, his height, his birth. You give him a damn social security number, all that. And what did the Lord say? Do not number the children of Israel, man. That's up to the Lord to do that. Okay. Anyways, it says, and ye and ye shall also buy water of them for money that ye may drink. For the Lord thy power hath blessed thee in all the works of thy hand. He knoweth thy walking through this great wilderness. These forty years the Lord thy power hath been with thee, thou hast lacked nothing. And when we pass by from our brethren, the children of Esau, which dwelt in Seir, through the way of the plain from Elah, from Ezion, Ezion, Gaber, we turned and passed by the way of the wilderness of Moab. So at one point we kind of all lived in the same general area. Right? It says, And the Lord said unto me, Distress not the Moabites, neither contend with them in battle, for I will not give thee of their land for a possession, because I have given Ar unto the children of Lot for a possession. The Emims dwelt therein in times past, a people great and many and tall, and the Anakims, which also were accounted giants as the Anakims, but the Moabites 
call them emims, which those were actual physical giants. It means a giant in the spirit, man. All right. It says the Horims also dwelt in Seir before time, but the children of Esau succeeded them. When they had destroyed them from before them, and dwelt in their stead, as Israel did unto the land of his possession, which at one, which at one point belonged to the Canaanites, all right, which the Lord gave unto them. So I'm going to move forward a little bit. All right, so let's just go into uh, a couple of the things that the Lord wanted us to do. All right, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5, and verse, um, and verse 1. I'm going to start off from the top. It says that Moses called all Israel and said unto them, Hear, O Israel, the statutes and judgments which I speak in your ears this day, that ye may learn them and keep them and do them. The Lord our power made a covenant with us in Horeb. The Lord made not this covenant with our fathers, but with us, even us, who are all of us here alive this day. So yeah, Moses, all right, understood um, reincarnation, uh, regeneration. Okay, it says, um, Slakia. The Lord talked with you face to face in the mount out of the midst of fire. All right, the burning bush story. I stood between the Lord and you at that time to show you the word of the Lord. All right, so that, that burning bush was who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Being there as a, as a mediator, okay? As a, you know, once again... A lot of times you may have an appliance right that needs a circuit breaker you know, just in case just in case there's too much power coming out it'll just fry the whole appliance man so that's our lord because if we, if we went purely off the word of yahweh we'd be we'd be done we'd be toast man that's why we need yahweh shai he's that perfect example uh, uh to be the mediator right and i don't want to call him a middleman you know what I mean? Because in the terms of now, it's like a middleman, you know, that scene is something un un unrighteous. But he is a, a, an ambassador, a mediator, you know? So even though, you know, that's not something that was meant that way, the word middleman, you gotta say Salaki anyways, you know, Salaki Yahabashimash. You wanna make you wanna make sure that you're doing things uh, according to how he would want you to do them, man. Okay? Not leaning on your own understanding. Okay, and it reads, I am the Lord thy power. Oh, it's I didn't read the rest of it. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5, and verse 4. It said, The Lord talked with you face to face in the, uh, in the mount out of the midst of the fire. I stood between the Lord and you at that time to show you the word of the Lord. For ye were afraid by reason of the fire. And went not up into the mount, saying, I am the Lord thy power, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage, right? And Egypt, uh, in Greek, is Egyptos, which means bondage. It says, Thou shalt have none other gods before me. Thou shalt not make thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in heaven beneath, or that is in the waters beneath the earth. So when you go over there to Egypt, they they they, they uh, uh, got hieroglyphics of fish. What the hell are you worshiping a fish for? What you worshiping the sun for, man? That's pointless. You gotta worship the creator of those things. Okay? And it reads, Thou shalt not bow thyself, slack them. Thou shalt not bow down thyself unto them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord, thy power, am a jealous power, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, that hate me, okay? So that's you. You are that third and fourth generation, okay? It says, And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. It says, 
Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy power in vain. So, you know, going back to that, you had a lot of people back during those times. But the Lord was only dealing with thousands of men, women, and children. Okay? So the, the one-thirds, right, and the 144,000, that's a small amount of people. Relative, you know, relative to, to how many people here on the earth, right? It says, It says, Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy power in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. So by you, by you coming up against the name, your ass is in the hot seat. You don't understand that. That's why as we continue to say the name, you keep coming up against the name for whatever reason. That's you. You're not coming up against us. I mean, and even if you came up against us, so what? We're going to keep bringing the word out anyways, man. U ultimately, we are the itch that your ass is, you can't scratch. We're going to be the thorn in your side all the way up until the Lord comes, man. Lord's will. Lord's will be that thorn in your side. We love being the thorn in your damn side. Damn devils. Anyways, it says, it says, um, Keep the Sabbath day to sanctify it, which is according to the new moon, right? Six days going into the seventh day. Okay? As the Lord thy power hath commanded thee, six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy power. So when you see the when you see the new moon, six days after the new moon, on that seventh day, that's when you rest. Okay? And it says, uh, see, when you got the people in the church talking about Sunday, that goes back to sun worship. All right? Which, which you know, what? why worship the sun, man? It's a big, it's a big ball of gas. Flaming gas. That's it. It's just a, it's just, it's a concoction of elements, right? A perfectly circular ball that the Heavenly Father has set up. Okay? And that's far out because the, our Lord created a, uh, uh, giant ball of fire that gives you vitamins right it creates life for, for everything here on the earth all right and that's why with the ultimately with the blocking out of the sun that's what you call a nuclear winter you can't have any plants growing no animals growing no nothing man okay that's why it says in the scriptures that the uh that the, the moon shall not give its light because ultimately that light coming off of the moon that's the sun that's the sunlight hitting the moon the moon doesn't emit its own light so in the time of that sun going dark, right, the moon is going to go dark too. That's why ultimately, man, <laughs> in them times, all right, we need to pray that the Lord is with us. Because there might be a time where you, you don't know, you can't tell what's the new moon, what ain't the new moon, man. You're just going to have to go all faith. That's what it's all about. It's all about faith, all right? And it reads, <clears throat> it says, six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy power. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy ox, nor thine ass, nor any of thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Woo! And so even you, even you damn heathens, you need to chill the hell out, man. Just rest. Have everything in preparation. You know, you know eat, eat the food that was already pre-prepared the day before. Chill out. Now, of course, living in this captivity, you're going to have to work on the Sabbath for the most part. And you may, now, depending on what job you got, you may be able to suggest all certain things. But, you know, a lot of brothers, we, we can't help it, man. You call, you call out so many times, you know, that's your ass, man. You lose your job and the rest of it. All right, and, and although we don't give a shit about losing our job, once again, you have to have, um, uh, you have to have uh, foresight, right? You have to be as wise as a serpent and as harmless as a dove. So come to the understanding that, okay, you still need to pay for food. You still need to pay for, you know, housing, right? A house to cover your shame, all these other such things. All right, but don't be a, um, don't be a slave to this job, man. If it comes down between this truth and your job, you already know what time it is. Like when it comes to these uh, jabs, hey, at my job, if they if they say you got to take the jab in order to work, fuck it. Looks, it, looks like, it looks like I lost my job. All right, go look for a job that doesn't require you to take the jab. And if every single job across the board uh, makes you take the jab, looks like you're bringing out some more of the word, man. That's all that means. That's about it. All right? Okay, hey, man, and the Lord the Lord will create that opportunity for you, you know? Certain brothers have, you know, uh, multiple jobs. All right? 
I, I had multiple jobs, man. All right? The one job, they, you know, they, they did some bullshit. You know? And I asked the most high. I said, Lord, you know, you know, please show me a sign in which I know uh, what to do next. And the Lord showed me a sign, and I and I acted on that, man. So now you get you get more time you get more time to bring out the word, all right? And the Lord made it so that basically I'm gonna make more money anyways, man. You know, the first job that I got, you know, there's a little there's a little raise because of the time frame. You know, so you just you know you cut back on certain things. You know, instead of going out to eat twice a week, go out once. You know, that's it. No, no, no big deal, man. Just, 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 just uh, 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 trim certain things, trim certain ways. As long as it's not the ways of serving your halvashim You gotta trim and cut certain things and get certain things right, man. That's what it's all about. Okay, and it reads. Nor the stranger that is within thy gates, that thy manservant and thy maidservant may rest as well as thou. Which that's righteous. Here we don't get no damn rest, man. Okay? 